Okay, what's up guys? Baymasters here with our first video and um if you've read our channel description, I Skyler am like the owner of the channel. I will be making most of the videos. And we just want to welcome you guys to our channel and we really hope you guys enjoy all of our videos. You guys can request video battles you wanna see. Um our next video will probably be our Beyblade Verse Collection, so you can see what base we got to there. You can comment down below and um, ha even have us make some combos, suggest some combos and stuff, and uh, tell us what battles you want to see. So, yeah, we just hope you guys like all of our videos. And we want to welcome you to our channel for our first video. And I hope we did good on our first video. Let us know down in the comments and let us know what you guys want to see so we can try and do that. So, yeah. Carlos, they are the other two masters on the channel, and I'm homeschool, and um, they go to public school, so I have more time to make YouTube videos as long as I finish my school fast. So I will be making most of the videos, unless unless like one away on them. Like I really won't do too many battles. Like, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but me and Brylan, our brother to Carlos, is our cousin. So, he doesn't live here, but he's over here a lot. So, he might not be in a lot of videos, like, as much as Brylan. You know, um, I hope you like this footage. This is the footage we recorded um, back, like, last month, just for, like, a fun video to make. We actually work or to maybe make that be our first video, which we just... I just took out the audio for it, but I hope you like this why I voice it over this video. Um so yeah. Car uh, I will be in this video guys, for our first ever video I will be talking about how I got to collect the Beyblade Burst. Um uh, the others they just well like Brian, he's my brother. He just like came in after me. Um after he saw how fun they were, how much fun I was having with them, and he started doing it, then pretty much the same with Carlos. But he probably wouldn't tell you that, so he'd give you another reason on how he was first. But anyway, I've always watched Beyblade Burst MFB or Slash Metal Fusion um, since I was like five. I'm 12 years old right now, just to let you know. Oh, since I was like five, I was, wait, what, how old was I? Yeah, I was like five or six. Is that the right other place? So yeah, I started watching Metal Fusion back in 2012. So that would make me, 2012 like what, eight years ago? No, 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 I don't know why I said eight years ago. 2012 was seven years ago, seven plus two, yeah, seven years ago, which would make me at that time, yeah, five, I was five years old, also, I was just going to mention, Carlos is 11, he'll be turning 12 in um, November, Brian, he is nine, and he will be turning 10 in um, April, and I will be turning 13 in uh, what you call it, uh, in September. Also, guys, I will sound different in this video from my other videos because I do have a cold. I am sick. It's not bad, though, but my voice does sound different from how it will in future videos unless I'm sick. I might be sick in my next video. I don't know because I've had this cold for, like, a week and a half now. Oh, but, yeah. So, we I got to collect the... Um, I went to collect the Beyblades and then I heard the Beyblade Burst in 2014. I didn't like it. I watched the first episode after Season 1 came out. So, like, I guess 2015 is when I started watching Beyblade Burst. Like, I've rewatched MFB so many times. All three of their seasons so many times. And then I never stopped, really. I actually didn't have rewatched it after I heard the Burst. Because for, like, a year I stopped watching it. And, like, in the year of 2013, I... I was watching, like, what, Power Rangers? I was, like, eight or nine then. 2000, um, yeah, back in 2013. That was five years ago. 
no, it was six years ago, so that would make me six. So I was six, I was watching Power Rangers and stuff, and got to collect some Marvel figures, but I wasn't collecting. Uh, so yeah, I didn't start collecting. So yeah, when Beyblade Burst came out in 2014, I didn't really want to watch it. It just looked like a ripoff, and I was like, what the heck, Burst? Um, barely any metal, or it wasn't metal. Um, it looked interesting. I actually wanted to watch it in the beginning, and I just, like, did it because I was, like, still an MFB fan. Then, 2015, I watched it. It was garbage. I didn't like it. And I watched the first episode, that's all. I couldn't even get past, like, the first couple of minutes. Still an MFB fan. Went back to watch it season one, two, three of MFB. I think it's because part of it is Camilla Fusion had, a, like, a better storyline and, like, the one-liners, stuff like that. The, the uh, whoever the writer of the show was, they did good, I guess. He gave me, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! show vibes. Like, I don't like any of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and stuff. I never did collect the cards in the first place. Just watched the show. Then in 2016 slash late, 2015, 2000, late 15 through 16, I watched the first season. Or did I? Or maybe that was 2017. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I still hold it off. Then 2017, I watched the first season. It was nice. I liked it. I kept rewatching it. Oh, back then, that's what I thought it was, like, super good. Then, last year, yeah, we're still 2017. Yeah, that was the season, season two. I wait for it to come to Netflix, so I don't have any way to watch the anime. Especially, I want to watch Chosey, and I don't have cable. I just have, like, Fire Stick or whatever, so I just watch on Netflix. So I had to wait for season two to come last year. Oh, our, okay, so... Get into. I started collecting the actual Bay products last year, so 2017. Um, my first Beyblade was Nightmare Longness and Galaxy Zeus. And let me tell you this: I didn't know nothing about buying any Beyblades, so I'm gonna be honest with you. It was a fake. My two first Beyblades were fakes. Well, my first, yeah, my two first Beyblades were fakes. I got them in. Two thousand summer of two thousand seventeen, everybody in our summer camp had them. Even though I knew they had products, I just was never interested interested to get them. And I was like, well, hold up, it's about time I get me some. So I look up that um Beyblade verse on eBay, and I'm like ten dollars. I mean, I got like twenty. Let's do it. And get at the time, I thought Galaxy Zeus was really strong. I mean, I could, Spryzer record wasn't down at the time, but I could have got, like, Ledger Spryzer. Like, the strongest kid in our camp had, um, what's his name, Genesis Valtric. And so, like, I came up here with mine, my fake Nightmare L. It was better than Hasbro, but way worse than Takar Tomy. It was, like, the strongest Beyblade, and my Galaxy Zeus just always burst it. And then there was just, like, this one kid. Like, my first launcher was a... It was the basic um, core LR launcher that came with fake Beyblades. It was that, and it came with a grip. And this is kid who was always begging for my stuff. For some reason, I always said, I always said yeah. I'm always being nice to people for some reason. I really shouldn't. I mean, that's kind of mean to say. But back to the subject, that was my two first Beyblades. They were my two first Beyblades. And my cousin had... Carlos, the one of the masters, his first bay around that time, because he had, we had both got ours around that same time. He had got Hasbro Phantomus. I don't know if it's in the footage that I'm recording right now, but he had Phantomus or Phantomus, however you say it. He had Phantomus P2 and Acid Anubius or whatever his Hasbro day was. Those were his two bays, and, like, we were the strongest bladers in the camp. And the uh, summer camp ended. For some reason, we stopped collecting Beyblades until last year. Because we went to summer camp. Wait. That was last year. So we didn't stop collecting that long. Just for a couple of months after summer camp ended. And then... 
after summer camp ended just in September. That's when I got to my first Hasbro bag. Was Hasbro um, Nightmare Longest because they had a sale on Swiss Strike Base. And my brother got his first Beyblade, period. Cal's RK3 and Sparks and Recreal. It was he got that for Christmas, and I used my Christmas when he gave me some Takara Toby base. Cause see, when I got my Nightmare L, that was back in September. Then at Christmas, well, Nightmare Luger, yeah, still Nightmare L. So um, and then he got his two Hasbro base with his Christmas ready. While I went after some Takara Toby TT, I got the TT um. Uh, Random Booster 13 or is it 14? I can't remember. Whichever one had Air Knight. I never got Air Knight, but I got Emperor 40s. And I was happy because I had my first 10. I First, I lose my first two cards, Toby, and Random Booster. Like, it's just exciting to go for a Random Booster. Um, Survive on this Emperor 40s is actually really good. I got my first Meteor, my first 10 is. And a green level chip. Everyone knows how hard it is to get level chips. And I got that. Then I got my first dash driver. I got Hatcher Kirby's yellow version. That was my first Hatcher Kirby's and my first Super Fortis. It came with four, which I wasn't that excited about, but I traded my brother's Calzor K3. He he came with seven, so I got that from him. And then Burr's Dash, my first dash driver, which I was happy about. I don't know why I'm doing this like you guys to see. And then uh, I got, also got Archer Hercules. It was so cool. My first stamina of day. Eternal. Four star. Uh, oh, 13. The, it was a three star 10 that came with Emperor. And the four star 7 that I traded my four for. But, and the four is a three star. But, um, yeah. Is that no? So yeah, that was and then this year I got more base. This year, oh yeah, last year I also no this year I got oh yeah my random boosters didn't come to this year though January I got Hail Salamander uh, from Random Booster with the Dead Hades and I got Screw Trident. Uh, yeah, and Warburg with Barry. And then my brother, he got, um, Carlo T. I got Geist Fatbear for his birthday back in November, also. And I got, oh yeah, my brother also got Jory Fafnir. And then Takar told me. So, yeah. Um, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not gonna go into much into more detail. I hope you guys enjoyed how I got to collect the Beyblades. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Maybe consider subscribing. So yeah, I hope you guys like the Bay Master channel. Also, guys, right before I end this video, if this video gets to just five likes, we will do our Beyblade Burst Collection. It will just be called my Beyblade, well, our Beyblade Burst Collection. So yeah. Or do you want us to do... Yeah, I'll just show all of it in the Beyblade Burst Collector video. So, yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, like like it. Maybe consider subscribing. I want to hit 100 subscribers before um, 2020. I know it's asking for a lot. But I would be so grateful if we did. Um, I really hope I can counter you guys. Also, guys, one of the bands I forgot to get. My newest base that I forgot to mention was Chosey Achilles. Well, actually, Screw Trider, I got him before Chosey, after Chosey Achilles. Before that, it was Chosey Achilles. When I ordered my random booster base, I got Chosey Achilles with it. So, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And please just leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too long. Um, next video, we'll probably have the other masters in it. So, yeah. Peace.